Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is RDF and today's video we are going to be focusing on Steven Gerrard and his tactic that he is currently using at Rangers and he is now getting some very very good results. If you are new to this channel or you haven't yet hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it would help me out immensely and it is very appreciated. But for this video we are going to kick off. Steven Gerrard is no stranger to pressure, it's possible that he thrives off it. So it was no surprise Gerrard took a high pressure challenge such as manager of Rangers. But certainly over the last 12 months Gerrard has surprised a few with his football even more so this season. As we speak the Liverpool legend and his Rangers squad have played 15 games winning 13, drawing 2 so losing none at all. In the process they have scored 41 goals only conceding three. Last season in the UK only Liverpool and Manchester City have made more final third recoveries than Rangers per 90 minutes. So now we are going to talk about the style of play. Gerrard seems to have been influenced by Gegen pressing with the narrow 4-3-3, you could say influenced by Klopp too. Rangers do like to apply the mid block most of the time though, allowing the opponents to have a little more time on the ball before the press starts. The benefit of this, the opponents now struggle to play the more direct ball to try and beat the press. The press usually starts when the opponent starts to play with the ball out in the wider areas. The Rangers attackers will then start to close down the fullbacks, also cutting off the passing lanes. This blocks the route centrally and it can either force a mistake or the opponent to play backwards. The midfield will then be the second line of pressing and Rangers will look to win the ball back in the final third areas to apply their counter attack. The most commonly used pressing trigger is the side wood ball from the centre back to the full back. When closing down the full backs this also is an attempt to pin the full backs towards the touchline. With the backing of the midfield blocking passing lane Rangers aim to win the ball back in the wider areas of the final third and capitalising by counter attacking and attempting to get a shot off as quickly as possible. The centre backs are usually the ones who start off with the build up. They will collect the ball from either the goalkeeper or a backwards pass from the midfield but when the central defenders receive the ball they will look for the forward pass but avoid kicking it long. The full backs are the ones who will look to stay wider and stretch play because of the shape of this 4-3-3. Both of the advanced wingers will tuck in narrow meaning that only the full backs provide the width but the wing backs are also creative in play. They will look to affect the attack and play by putting a lot of key passes or crosses. James Tavernier currently is on 6 assists which is joint top with Haji. James Tavernier currently has been involved with 15 goals either scoring or assisting. Usually Rangers could build up centrally before working the ball out wide to the wing backs that generates the space for the wing backs. Moving up the pitch Rangers create triangles out wide this can also create space for the wing backs to be effective. A wing back, a central midfielder and a winger will create these triangles out wide. This movement now creates overloads in the half space out wide and this can result into misshaping the opponent's defence. Morales, the striker, is also key to the attack. To get in between the opponent's defence lines, Morales drops deeper to collect the ball and when he does, he can lay it off quickly to other players or be involved in intricate play trying to break down the opposition. Now, when recreating in Football Manager it is very likely you will have to compromise on certain stuff as certain real life movements are not able to achieve in Football Manager but that also doesn't stop us from taking the main aspects so you can play like that team in Football Manager. The key elements to this tactics are the counter attacks, building up narrowly, having attacking wing backs, set pressing traps or and apply the mid block. But enough of me talking, let's get straight into the test. I will start off with the player roles, the instructions, the team instructions, then briefly look at some statistics and analysts before ending the video. So here we are, as you can see, we have shaped off with the 4 3 3. In goal, we do have the sweeper goalkeeper. The wing back area is both wing backs on the attacking duty and they have instructions to take more risks to try and play the killer ball, to stay wider to keep the width 
and to close down more to help with the pressing when the winger goes to press the wing backs also need to follow closely behind the left wing back also has the exact same instructions in centre back we do have the combo of the ball playing defender and the central defender one will play more risky passes and trying to start off some counter attacks while the other looks to play a lot more safe in defensive midfield we do have the deep line playmaker on the defend duty he will naturally close down less but he will also look to collect the ball from the central defenders and that would help us with our build-up play in central midfield we do have the mazala who will look to shift out wide and help with the areas out on the left hand side he only has the instruction to mark tighter his central midfield partner has the central midfield role with the support duty. His instruction is to get further forward to try to have some influence in the attacking play. Also to close down more to help with the press and mark tighter. Our advanced wingers are both inverted wingers. The one on the left will be looking to support. This can create some overload and some nice interchange with the Mazala. He has the instruction to sit narrow and mark tighter. Over on the right is the inverted winger on the attack duty and he has similar sit narrow and mark tighter. Up top we do have the pressing forward which will be Morales looking to hold up the ball. One of the reasons why I went with the pressing forward is so we have a little focal point up top. He will look to hold up the ball, close down more and tackle harder. Now for the team instructions we have gone with the positive mentality, try and set the tempo of matches, try and put our stamp on the game. For the attacking width we have gone with fairly narrow, if the opponents start to defend centrally then we have our wing backs completely free on the flanks and that is why I have also gone with the focus down the left and focus down the right. For the approach play we are passing into space not to feet, we are trying to start off our counter attacks and when the defenders has the ball we are going to try and play out from the back and not hit the ball long. For the passing directness and the tempo we are going with the higher tempo, the passing directness is set to standard so it will be set to the positive mentality. In transition, when the possession has been lost, we are counter pressing, trying to win the ball back as soon as possible. And when possession has been won, we are going to counter the opponents. When the goalkeeper is in possession of the ball, he is going to be taking short kicks, but he has the option to kick it short to whoever he wants. Out of possession, our defensive shape now we have two options. We do have two tactics we have the away tactic and we have the home tactic. With the home tactic, the only difference is the higher line of engagement. For the away tactic, of course, the only difference is the standard line of engagement. The standard line of engagement to force the opponents to try and play more from the back to try and not get beaten by that more direct ball. For the defensive shape, we are using the offside trap with a higher defense line and the defensive width, we are forcing the opponent out wide. So we are defending narrow and we are going with the more urgent pressing intensity. That is the tactic, now we are going to look at some of the results. As you can see, for the league, we are the champions playing 38 games, winning 33, drawing 2 and only losing 3. Those 3 losses, though is only highlighting 2, came away against Hamilton and came away against Aberdeen, they were both 1-0 losses. In the league, you can see that our top goal scorer was the right back James Tavernier, but he does have penalties to thank and Haji created 14 assists. In the Europa League, we did very, very well if I say so myself. We will check those fixtures in a bit. In the Scottish Cup, we were expected to win it, but we got knocked out in the fourth round. In the Betfred Cup, we were expected to win that cup and guess what we did. In the league, when it comes to the average possession, we had the best average possession, 62% of the average possession was ours. For the goals, we were joint top with Celtic with 92 goals, so we had one of the best attacks in the league. When it comes to expected goals for, you can see Rangers with 77.21. With penalty taken, we got 20 penalties throughout the season and scoring 17 of those penalties. Our crosses completed, you can see that we got a lot of crosses in during the season, completing 513 crosses. We also scored the most goals from the indirect free kicks. We have the best pass completion rate with 90% and we also completed the most passes during the league. When it comes to clear cut chances created, we were miles ahead with 46 clear cut chances created, which is actually the most I've had so far in this football manager. 
we do have the highest shots per game but we do have the six best conversion rate so that is something that we could improve on when it comes to fouls against we had the most fouls against us and we completed the most dribbles in defense we had the best defense with only 13 conceding and getting 26 clean sheets when it comes to interceptions, Celtic did beat us with the interceptions. We also did not give away a penalty throughout the whole season. And we rarely made any blocks, only 56 blocks during the season. Looking at some player stats, you can see James Tavernier was the fourth highest scorer in the league, with Ryan Kent scoring 11. Morales didn't have the best season as we can see. James Tavernier also had the best average rating, but, but our left back Berisic also done very well. Golson done well. Had you done well, Eric Garcia, who was on loan, done well, and Philip Helander. But you can see here, James Tavernier scored 15 of his 18 penalties taken. Haji got 14 assists, while Tavernier got 12. So it feels like I got the replication of the fullback spot on, kind of. And key passes, Tavernier and Berisic. So you can see that Tavernier and Berisic are playing the most key passes in our squad. Clear cut chances creating, Haji created the most clear cut chances. Berisic also helped with 10. Now when we are looking at our attacking efficiency, you can see that we were aggressive and clinical. One of the areas that Gerard needs to improve on in real life is actually his clinical area. So for the general performance and comparing it with the average in the league, you can see that we've done way better than the average in the league. We're getting 2.42 goals per game with an expected goals per game of 2 and our conceded per game is only 0.34 and expected goals against per game is only 0.31. Also looking at our defensive efficiency, you can see Rangers was very quiet and impenetrable. We had the best defence in the league, hardly having to do any defending, so salute to our closing down. Now when we're looking at our squad stats, you can see that Ryan Kent scored 21 in all comps, so did Tavernier. Haji got 18 goals, while Arebo got 17 goals, Morales got 16. When it comes to assists, we also have plenty of creators. It's kind of the similar players who are scoring, they are also creating. Morales got 10 assists, Kent got 12 assists, Berisic got 14 assists with Tavernier and Haji got 20 assists. Easily the best player for me personally. But when it comes to the highest average rated players, Tavernier had the highest average rating. So did Goldson. Haji came in third. Berisic came in fourth. Helander came in fifth. Our defence did very, very well when it comes to our average rating. Maybe attack didn't do so well because of our conversion rate was kind of poor. But that is it for this tactic. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This was a Rangers recreation of the Steven Gerrard 4-3-3. It has been RDF. It has been a pleasure. I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and stay safe. Peace out.